Determine the sum of the whole numbers between 100 and 1,000, which are divisible by 11. Okay, so we've got the numbers 100 all the way to 1,000. And they're saying all the whole numbers. That's just normal numbers. 101, 102, 103, 104, 105. You get the idea, right? 110 all the way to 1,000. Now, they want the ones that are divisible by 1,000. I mean, by sorry. They want the ones that are divisible by 11. So we know that if you count in 11s, 11, 22, 33, 44, 55, 66, 77, blah, 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 you'd get to 99, then you'd get to 199, you'd get to 110, so that's the first one. Then what is the next 11 after that? Well, that would be 121, then 132. Now, we can pretty much stop there because after these three, we already have a pattern. Now, we got to figure out where the last term would be. So is the number 1,000 divisible by 11? Well, no, you can try it on your calculator, it won't work. So then what is the number that comes before 1,000? 999. Now that is divided or is divisible by 11. And that number is also not divisible by 11. Then you can try 998. Say 998 divided by 11 on your calculator also doesn't work. Then we go to 997. Let's see if that can divide by 11. No, it can't. Then I'm going to go 996. Doesn't work. 995, 994, 993, 992, 991. Come on, 990. Ah, 990 works. Okay, so 990 is the biggest number we can get in this sequence that is divisible by 11. So that'll be the last term in this sequence of here. Okay, so from this, we have more than enough information to be able to calculate the sum. First step is we need to know, is it arithmetic or geometric? Well, we're adding 11 each time. So that is arithmetic. Okay, so we know that. Well, there are two formulas in arithmetic. There's the normal one, and then there's the other one, which is n over two a plus l. So I typically hardly ever use this one over here because you're still gonna have to go work out the number of terms. So I tend to just use this normal one over here. Now we know how to calculate the sum of an arithmetic pattern. It goes like this, okay. Now we know what A is. A is term one. You don't use this A. We are talking about this sequence. So this is A, D is 11 and we know the common, yeah, we know the difference. We don't know the number of terms. So what we do is we use this formula now for an arithmetic. And we look and see how many terms there are. So if we know that this is the last term, we can put 990. Then A is 110. And then the difference is 11. Now you see the only unknown is how many terms there are. And so now we can just bring this 110 over. There's many ways you can handle this next part. I'm gonna multiply the 11 into the bracket, like that. And we now have 880 on the left, 11n minus 11. Take the 11 over, it becomes 891. Divide both sides by 11 and you get 81. So there are 81 terms in this pattern over here, okay? so we can say the sum of 81 terms, so A is 110, 81 terms, and then the common difference is uh, 11. And you can just type that on the calculator, and that'll be 44,550.